Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, or a couple of days ago, I received my new Meaden easel, and so yesterday I put it together, so there's a video after this. If you want to watch it, it shows me quickly how I put it together. And it ended up with this nice easel. I'm really excited about using it because I haven't used an easel in a long time. So uh, hopefully you enjoy watching it. Now this is step one. And when you order this, what I'm putting together is the Meaden Heavy Duty Extra Large H Frame Studio Easel. So they give you an assembly instruction booklet. And within that booklet, they give you a part identifier, a parts list, and then hardware list, and then instructions. So this is assembly step one. And they gave, I'm using the packet A, which includes some bolts and nuts, and then the wooden pieces one, two, and three. And I'm putting that box together. That will be the bottom of the easel. Um, and it seems like they're pretty good materials. And when I was uh, putting this together, it reminded me of the IKEA furniture, how you can put those together. It has a similar feeling to that. Uh, they also gave me the tools I would need, the uh, screwdrivers I'm using there, and also a little, um, another little wrench, an Allen wrench that I use later on. I suggest uh, doing it on a soft surface so it's easier on your body as well as on the pieces of wood. They don't get scraped up. Um, here I'm just screwing it together. That, that rug there actually is a Chinese rug. Um, it's in my studio because uh, it went through a fire. So in a home that we used to live in, um, the roof caught fire. And so this rug had a lot of water damage and also some fire spots on it. So it's a lovely rug, but uh, I just use it in my studio now. So here I'm finishing up assembly, the step one assembly. Um, when you put the screws in, just make sure you don't tighten them all the way down before you have all the screws in and then check it for any wobbling or anything and then tighten them up um, right before you get done. Now I'm moving on to step two and that's just simply putting the casters on the bottom, the wheel. So I'm, usually, I'm using a packet eye that they gave me with a bunch of screws in it and then the four casters. So again, when you put the casters on, there's four screws to each wheel. Um, and they already have the holes um, made for you, so it's not hard or anything. You just have to spend time doing it. I suppose you could um, go and look for a used easel, but during COVID, I didn't want to do that. So I just ordered a new one and wanted to put together. Now this is assembly step three. I'm using packet A again, which has those bolts, and then um, wooden pieces five, putting those onto the, the bottom part. And yeah, so I'm just making sure, because in the, in the instruction booklet, you know the pictures are always really funny. Not funny, but sometimes you have to be really careful because you have to check that that side has the holes, which side the holes going up and down in the illustration. So you just have to take it slow and be careful. I actually make a mistake in this video and have to take it apart a little bit. Now I'm moving on to, it looks like step four, because I have the uh, pieces going up. Yeah, so step four, I'm using packet H, which has some screws, and then I'm using um, the wooden blocks there to stabilize it, and those are number four. There's two of them. That's number four brace, two, two of those that I'm putting on. And so I'm just screwing them in there like they say. That's actually, see, I'm making a mistake there that I find out later. Uh, I'm not actually making the mistake now. I made it before and that's why I'm having trouble. I have to look at the instructions again because I put one of those 
vertical pieces on backwards, so I had to redo that. Now I fixed that, and now I'm back at um, putting that wooden number four on. So that's why this shouldn't have taken, this step shouldn't have taken that long. So shortly I'll be moving on to step five. All right. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, get that in there. I think overall time that it took me to do this, probably with reading the directions and everything and trying to be careful, maybe two hours. There I check it because it's a little bit wobbly because I don't tighten the screws up till the very end to make sure everything's aligned. And now I'm moving on to step five, which is just putting some longer pieces of wood together. I'm using pieces seven, eight, and nine. So uh, some of this easel is made in the tongue and groove, which it means it already has a groove in which you fit the other piece into, which is really nice. Um, and so that's what I'm doing there. I just put that together. That step didn't require any screws. And now I'm gonna be moving on to step six. There, I'm laying out the pieces. So in step six, I'm using packet A again, which has, which has those uh, bolts and nuts. And then I'm using wooden pieces 10 and 11. I had to be very careful because there's a lot of indicators in the illustration that they have to go a certain way. So I'm being very careful about that. And... So putting 10 and A together and then screwing those in. And again, this part is very much like the Ikea furniture, if you've ever put together any of those cabinets. So um, you just have to be careful and take it slow. And like I said, don't tighten things up so much until, the ver until you get all of the pieces together in that one step and then tighten them up at the end. That's a really nice shot of me, my backside. <laughs> so um, anyway, this is, I'm doing this in my studio. Okay, now I'm moving on to step seven. And this is actually putting it onto the base. And in this step, I use packet C, which has some, um, special, uh, I don't know what they're called, special bolts. And then I'm using, uh, I'm just putting the piece I've already assembled in step six onto the upright frame. And look, I'm not even in the picture there, so I don't know what happened there. But I'm over there <laughs> hiding. Maybe I move it over later, I don't know. Move it over, Susan, so they can see. But it's just putting it upright. There I am. You can see how I'm doing it on that side. I don't know if I move. I think I move it over so you can see it better, but I'm not sure. There, I'm screwing it on. Okay, that, that part didn't take that long. Okay, I'm reading the instructions. Now I'm going to go on to part eight. Assembly step eight, where I'm using packet B, which has some, uh, some other... Uh, nuts and bolts, and wooden pieces six, which have some pieces that slide in and out. There, I moved it over now for you. Okay, so you can see it's, it's almost taking shape. This is, again, this is step eight. <clears throat> and um, this is just putting some more pieces upright into the easel. Oops, and you can see there, I wasn't very careful. <laughs> and the thing uh, fell down on my head. It didn't bonk me too hard, but it bonked, bonked the back of my head a little bit. So I realized I had to be a little more careful when I was putting the things upright. Um, so I'm just putting those together. And those, that gives it the ability to um, have alternate heights when it's a finished product. Product You can raise it up or lower it down to, um, to what you need. 
You can also turn this easel horizontally. So if you want to work horizontally, which I do a lot, um, you can do that with this easel. I think that's why I bought this heavy duty one because the other one didn't have that capability. And I figured, well, I might as well buy the one that, that works. Now I'm actually do, working on assembly step nine and 10. In the background, I'm uh, on, in, in step nine, you use packet D and then packet L and then put those upright. And then in stage 10 or step 10, which I'm doing in the background there, I use packet F, which is some screws, four screws. And I'm just um, screwing piece 12 and 13 together. So 12 fits on top of um, 13. And that will be in step 11, that will um, also require me to put on a um, a little metal part, which is, which I already did. That was a uh, packet E and just a metal part on the top. Now, see, I, mo I switched over, I moved it horizontally and I'm putting on that larger part. This is step 12 and uh, 13. So I'm using packet G, which is just one of those uh, nuts and bolts. This was this part was a little confusing for me because I didn't really understand why I was putting on those nuts and bolts, but in the end I realized after it was finished. And then step 13, um, which is coming up, I slide in the other board. Oh, I actually slid in the other board there. Now I turn it upright and that's pretty much finished, except I need to put on the top piece which you can't see here, I have to reach up. It's really tall. Um, that's the upper part there. And almost done. Just put that on top and then you just screw it in. I'm using packet K, which is just one uh, nut and bolt type of thing. And it has some metal plate things that you have to put in there, but there, I have to reach way up to get that piece on, but that is the part that you can adjust the height to hold the, uh, if you use a really large canvas, just to hold it steady so it's not gonna fall down on your head like the other piece did on my head. So there's the finished product, and I put the canvas on there, and there you have it. Thanks for watching.